A convicted felon in Las Vegas is getting national attention after turning his life around. Find out what happened behind bars that changed his life and how it's helping hundreds of others. That inspiring story coming up. A convicted felon with police, judges and the governor on his speed dial. After years behind bars, he's now a changed man. Tonight, Action News anchor Beth Fisher has the story of a man devoting his life to helping people on the inside get help when they're out. He begins every day reading the Bible, a book John Ponder first picked up in solitary confinement. The streets had led me to uh, the drugs, the drugs had led me to the gangs, the gang has led me to the criminal activity, and that criminal activity led me to my very first set of handcuffs. Ponder's life of crime started when he was just 12 years old, and it ended after his arrest for a string of bank robberies. Because of some anger issues that I was having, uh, I was placed in solitary confinement, and in solitary confinement is where you're supposed to be there by yourself, and I tell everyone it wasn't, I wasn't in there by myself, it was me, Jesus, and Kenneth Copeland. A pastor dropped a Kenneth Copeland book through the food flap of Ponder's cell. After a few days, he started reading it, and it kept pointing him to the Bible. I tell people to this day that this book here, coupled with the Bible, has been the foundation that drove me to who I am today in Christ. And what is this? What's this? These are actually my prison numbers. Those prison numbers are a constant reminder of where he was, but it was in a jail cell like this, serving eight years, that God gave Ponder a vision to help convicts just like him. I know that if an individual inside an institution will just give God enough of their time, that God can do some amazing things with their life. So Ponder founded Hope for Prisoners. <laughs> For the past four years, hundreds of convicts have graduated from this re-entry program. People like convicted felon Shannon Judkins. It's so hard to be able to find work opportunities when you haven't been incarcerated. But that program taught me that you, just because you're a felon doesn't mean that your life has to stop. 71% of Hope for Prisoners graduates land full-time employment. The success has caught the attention of states across the country who are now inviting John to come and speak. But he and wife Jamie say the success belongs to God. You're just in awe of God. You're, 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 you just, you're so in awe because you're just like, wow, we prayed for this years ago and now we're getting to see it come to pass. Jamie is the perfect wife and partner in the Hope for Prisoners ministry. Her brothers and father did jail time. Matter of fact, one of her brothers shared a jail cell with John and later introduced them. He was so transparent and there was nothing fake about who he was. His commitment and his love for the Lord was, I mean, I was in awe of who he was. The Ponders are raising three daughters in Las Vegas. Their oldest was in school when we visited their home, but the youngest, two-year-old Promise and nine-month-old Liberty, will one day know their father's story of how God changed his heart from selfish to selfless. It's not about us anymore. It's what can I do for you? That's what really defines men. That's harder, to be humble, to put others before yourself, to serve the world. That's harder. Absolutely. But Jesus said he did not come to be served. He came to serve. John's life really has come full circle. Remember that Kenneth Copeland book someone dropped into his jail cell? Well, recently, John was featured in this video by Kenneth Copeland Ministries, broadcast worldwide. And later this month, the two men will meet for the first time here in Las Vegas. Beth Fisher, Channel 13 Action News. Hope for Prisoners is funded primarily through private donations. For more information about his organization, head to our website at ktnv.com.